Excellent. Yeah. Feels great. Um, you know, when I got drafted here in 2016, obviously previous years was like two and 14, three and 13. Uh, so to really be a part of that first draft class to turn this thing around, been having winning seasons ever since. Uh, just slowly, not slowly, but watching this fan base embrace this city, embrace the team, uh, it, it's definitely been great. So definitely happy, two-time division champs. But you know, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to come up here. They're going to echo it that you know we're not done yet. Season just getting started. It's a lot more meat out there on the bone. How do you like the way you kind of moved this day? You guys kind of just took care of business. How do you like the way you kind of focused and, and did that? Yeah, I mean, the entire week we was focused on what our job wasn't focused on scenarios and anything like that. We understood that obviously the division was on the line and we kind of treated it as such and proud of the way the defense played. Guys were out there flying around, making plays, uh, got some turnovers, got some sacks as well. Uh, I think we played really complimentary uh, football. Offense didn't turn the ball, we got some turnovers, so it was great. And what way did you feel the defense is peaking as far as like becoming a championship level defense? Yeah, I man, I've talked about it previous, you know, Early in the year that, you know, we kind of know who we are as a defense. You know, if we go out there, we don't give up a lot of big plays, which we had a couple today. You know, we'll get that stuff corrected. But we don't give up big plays. Teams can't run the ball on us. You know what I'm saying? We feel like we can stop anybody as far as running the ball. And um, guys flying out there making plays and trying to get the ball out, turnovers and things like that. We're just a confident group. You know, we're talking about the guys on the front seven. Uh, I mean, Danico, those guys are hungry, and them guys are making plays every single weekend. Makes the job easy for us on the back end. So it's, it's been fun for sure. And then what does getting Dave along back in the lineup, what does that do for you guys as a defense? Yeah, I mean, we know, I mean, throughout this entire year, uh, you know, obviously when he's out there, I mean, he's been our emotional leader out there. He's been out there making plays, so it was good to see him come out here today and obviously get a turnover, which was which is definitely clutch to end the game. Definitely happy for him. But, I mean, we got a, we, we got a crowded linebacker group now, you know what I'm saying, with Cunningham, David Long, and Rashawn. I know coaches are trying to figure out how to get all of them on the field at the same time, so excited to see how that thing plays out. Yeah, I mean, I just think that just our mentality and, you know, all the outside noise saying that, you know, we may not be a good team and eventually a team's going to come in. And I think we just handle our business. We just do what we do. Uh, the next man mentality uh, that we've been having this entire year where guys have been coming in, getting signed, playing the same week. Guys have been out here playing a lot of snaps for us. So, um I mean, even that record that we had broke, you know, as many players we had play for our team, uh, to still have the success that we've had, uh, it's just a credit to the culture that uh, Vrabel and John has built, you know, as far as constructing this roster. Why is that, you know, Cincinnati beat Kansas City without the number one seed to take care of business uh, next week in Houston? You'll have home field without playoffs. How much of an edge do you have to do? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the edge or not, but I think that, you know, it's good to go into next week knowing that, hey, we don't have to worry about nobody. We don't have to worry about if somebody loses anything like that. We go out there, we handle business in Houston, you know, we'll have the one seed. So um, it's definitely good to be in this position. Um, usually last game of the year, we're fighting for something anyway. So it's good to go into the last week of the season uh, trying to fight to be this number one seed. Did you feel like the position you guys were in once you got the lead as a defense that you felt like, hey, it's like you run some clock like they're not going to score one? Yeah, I mean, we feel like that every single game. You know, if the offense can get us a lead and get some points, we feel like we can play with anybody in this league. I think we've proven that, but obviously we had to continue to do that. So, uh, obviously, you know, the offense did a really good job of just not turning the ball over. And I think that's the, it's been evident this year that when they don't turn the ball over, uh, we tend to win the ball game. Look at all the adversity. You know, 88 players rosters a record for game day. All of the, the injuries, you know, COVID, everything. How much has Mike Brable just been a catalyst just keeping you guys' eyes on the prize and just continuing to press forward. Yeah, I mean, because at the end of the day, sometimes when guys are hurt, sometimes you don't even recognize it on the sideline. You kind of see, hey, this guy's not playing. Or even throughout the week when, you know, we every team's dealing with COVID, uh, all the injuries we've had, guys have just been focused on their job and their job alone. I think if we continue doing that and guys keep preaching that, uh, we'll be good to go. But, I mean, I think we just had a lot of great leadership as well from the, from the players, from the coaches, just the entire organization. I think we just we're just very hungry, and uh, we was obviously disappointed how last year last year ended, and especially on defense. And I just think that you know just the mentality this year is just like not satisfied with anything, not satisfied with division champs. We're trying to go win a Super Bowl for this entire city. As a guy who was on that defense last year, how much fun are you having being a part of this group now? A lot of fun. I'm just. Having a lot of fun just being part of this entire team. I mean, we just feed off each other. Uh, the special teams, they're just feeding off each other. So, uh, obviously, being out there on defense, I, I was kind of joking a little bit on the sideline. I think this is the first time in my career where, you know, I didn't end the game. I, it's like four times where, you know, coach took me out early. It was just kind of, 
I mean, it feels good because, I mean, obviously that means you're winning, you're doing things the right way. So we have to continue to doing that, um, you know, coming to this clutch time. Obviously we got to finish uh, next week strong and um, see who we got in the playoffs. Did you put on the AFC South championship shirt or you said the goal was the Super Bowl. Did you put on the shirt? No, nah, the locker room was like, you know, I'm going to keep that in the locker room, but it was, it was crazy. I mean, guys were jumping around. I mean, ridiculous, people falling and all type of stuff, and taking pictures. I mean, when you win the division, obviously, it's, it's, it's a great reward for all the hard work that we put in this year, you know, all the adversity we faced. And you definitely seen that as the locker room exploded as we came in, you know, blasting music and stuff like that. So it was definitely fun, and I'm going to enjoy it tonight as well, trust me.